What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully each and every one of you guys is having a great and amazing day. I want to ask you all to take five seconds of your time. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. And while you're at it, if you're not subscribed already, please consider doing so. It helps the channel tremendously moving forward. With that being said, let's go ahead and get right into today's video. We got to go to our favorite place and get some E85. So with that being said, let's go. With that being said, I gotta go by, pick up my wrap, drop it off to my buddy at his wrap shop. Yes, the car is getting wrapped. Uh, big bombshell on you guys, I'm sure you probably didn't expect it. I'm wrapping the Roush. The stripes are coming off. The Roush is getting wrapped. Probably a little controversial, but it's gonna be done. Um, there's some other things that has to be done before we do so, but the wrap came in early, so. I'm excited for that. I'm not gonna show you guys on camera until it's done. We're gonna do a whole reveal on the wrap and the complete transformation of this car, of course. But with that being said, that's not what today's video is about. Today we are going to be testing out the ice tank. It is about 110 degrees outside right now. So what better day to test it out? How much is the ice tank gonna help us? Are we gonna be able to build boost in this heat? We shall see. Um, I'm gonna do some regular daily driving stuff without ice in the tank of course I'll see what the IATs are like get on the freeway see how much above ambient the temperatures are um, see if the ice tank was worth it in my opinion yes it was um, and then we're gonna throw some ice in there probably do it like a 60 to 130 run I still don't have a tire so we'll do um, probably starting in fourth gear to 130 um, see if my times improved in this heat at that um, so there's that. I'm pretty confident that it's going to make a big difference, so we shall see. With that being said, let's get right into the video. we got to go over to the E85 station and get some E85. Of course, it seems like it's our favorite place lately. I'm literally there every other day, so let's get right into the video. One thing that I think is worth mentioning is that this pump is super noisy. Even with my exhaust open, I can still hear it. I don't know if it's coming through on camera, but it literally sounds like a vacuum cleaner going off all the time in my car. And uh, honestly, I think I'm just gonna become used to it. I think I'm just gonna forget about it and forget that, that noise is there. I'll tell you what, when my rear seats were out, it was loud. Like, it was unbearably loud. To the point where, I had no choice but to leave my valves open on my exhaust to kind of drone it out and I had music blasting at the same time. But with that being said, if you want to go fast, you have to make sacrifices, right? And just like that, we've arrived at the E85 station. Let's go ahead and fill up and uh, go pick up my wrap. Alright guys, we just got all done dropping off the wrap. Well, we've been done for a while, but we're just here chilling. Um, anyhow. It is currently 109 degrees outside. It's only expecting to get hotter, so I figured we'd go hit the freeway real quick. My IAT2s are 152 just sitting here. We're gonna hit the GoPro and uh, go for a little drive. It is hot as hell out. Sorry, it's, it's hard to hear me. We got the AC blasting to cool down the car. Um, IATs are dropping pretty quick, as I mentioned. It started out at like 153, it's 144 already. I don't expect it to get much lower than this until we get some ice in the tank. Uh, we're gonna go for a little bit of a ride. And as you see, as we sit here at the stoplight and slow down, 145, 147, it's just gonna climb pretty quickly. Um, IAT ones are 113, so it just shows you how hot it really is. Sorry about the sun. I gotta see about getting a filter for the GoPro. Uh, put it on the lens to kind of block out the sun. I think that would help a lot. So right now, as we sit with the IATs at 147, it's actually pulling timing from the car and that's the opposite of what we want. Uh, we want the tune to actually add timing, which is, you know, a good thing. So hopefully, once we get on the freeway, um, things cool down a little bit. Like I said, we're gonna throw some ice in the tank, leave it cool off, um, and we'll do a little bit of a pull on the freeway for you guys. Double check the 60 to 130, uh, and uh, 
hopefully everything will be good with it. As you'll notice, the higher up in space that we get, the IATs continue to drop further and further, which is what they're supposed to do. And we got a CA Corvette coming up on us. See if he wants to play. said um, I'm gonna try a few different things with the ice box I've been told to run uh, wet or water instead of coolant so I'm gonna cycle out the coolant as I add ice to it and then try putting some wet or water instead of coolant uh, that should keep the temps down just a little more um, again we're at 140 as you know we go up in space 140 142 uh, 25 to 30 degrees over ambient temperatures is what it's sitting at without ice in the tank. So, it's a lot better than the stock setup. Obviously, we have a bigger volume of water, so it's going to take longer for it to heat up. And as it's heating up, it's going to get cooled down. Um, that's where the ice comes into play. And our temperature should be about 110 maybe even less once we add all the ice in it. Uh, leave it sit, drain a little bit of water, add more ice. Um, you guys will see the process here in just a little bit. All right guys, hopefully you can see, um, I do have the phone mounted to the windshield for Draggy. Um, yeah, right away at idle, it lowered the temps down to like 136, 135. Thirty-one is lowering it down pretty quick. Of course, it's hot, um, so this isn't the best test in the world. But hey, if we're going to test it, let's test it in the worst possible situation that you could possibly be in when it's 110 degrees outside. Hopefully, we could get to the spot without all the ice melting. I only put uh, 20 pounds rather than um, about 30. Um, just because we're doing a quick hit and that's it we're not going to push the car too hard just a simple 60 to 130 pull and uh we'll see how well it does under that kind of stress um am i going to beat my other times i don't know but we're going to find out here also we're going to data log it send it to wenger performance see what he thinks see if the ice tank is doing work like it's supposed to be um, already we're only going 35 miles an hour and IATs are only about 10 over ambient which is very impressive so I have a good feeling about this I feel like it's gonna be doing what it's supposed to be doing obviously when you come to a stop the temps are gonna shoot up a little because the heat exchanger isn't doing its job um, there's not as much air coming through um, right now my IAT itself air intake air temperature is at 117 it's 112 degrees outside ridiculous weather here um especially for it only being june it's yeah it's, it's been a bad week for heat so um, another thing i want to mention is i broke my laptop and i'm going to be sending it in for repair i broke the screen on it unfortunately so after this video this is probably going to be the last video released before i send it out for repair um i have a couple of weeks filmed in advance at this point so hopefully i get the laptop back in time so i want to apologize in advance in case i don't get that laptop back and i'm unable to edit the videos that are scheduled to be filmed 
vlogs here soon. I'm gonna have a lot of content to film. I do have a lot planned. Uh, like I said, the wrap is coming up. I'm not gonna to talk too much more about that until that video comes. But before the wrap gets here, we have some other things that have to be installed first, both cosmetic and performance-wise. So um, again, I'm looking forward to all of that. And uh, I look forward to putting out further content for you guys here in the near future. Um, with that being said, we're about to be in Mexico and we'll get a quick hit in. To turn off the AC. can see that but right now IAT2s are 181 pump just turned on it should cool it down pretty quick here down for a quick second only so much I could do um, I just started the car IATs are 145 degrees so already it I don't know what's going on um, I keep getting this issue where I'm cutting power so I'm gonna have to do some troubleshooting with that 
um, ever since the fuel system was done I've been having this issue uh, randomly um, so I pull over restart the car and uh, cycle the power then it goes away it keeps saying low battery features temporarily turned off um, 11.5 volts I know it should be idly higher also it's a brand new battery in there so I know that's not the issue um, and really the only added power is the fuel system obviously and of course the added um, ice tank that we're making this video about but with that being said um, IAT2s are dropping a little bit um, right now we're sitting about 40 above ambient so um, we're gonna hop on the freeway see what where we're at and hopefully uh, we can get a data log and send it over to Mr. Wengard I just realized earlier when we did that 60 to 130 pull that I forgot to data log so sorry <laughs> but um, I will data log when we do those pulls with the S197 single turbo I'll pick up the camera once we get on the freeway um, there's a lot of police presence out right now so I'm going to turn off the valves and just like that we are quieter than a stock Mustang GT got to about 140 during that poll um, and they're right back down to 127 that quick um, so yeah the ice tank does help even though if there's no ice because there's a larger volume of fluids getting pushed through it it doesn't get hot as fast whereas the regular reservoir probably held maybe a gallon and a half of coolant the ice tank holds a full seven gallons plus whatever's in the lines and intercooler itself. So probably about eight gallons total. So that's a lot more than the standard Roush setup would have. But that being said, it also has a lot longer of a travel before it gets to the intercooler, allowing it to heat up a little more and take longer for it to cool down when it does get hot. Uh, but with that run earlier, during the day when I tested out the 60 to 130 if it was during the daytime without ice in the car I would have never even hit boost because it would have pulled timing immediately and once it starts pulling timing I maybe make one or two pounds of boost um, 
with that ice it allowed me to go through the full run and more I could have continued going probably to 160 or so before it started pulling timing I think my IAT 2's got to like 136 or so um, it starts pulling timing past 145 so I still had a little bit to go so therefore I'm happy with the setup so far of course right now is not the optimal time to be doing runs anyhow it's way too hot outside for any car to be racing 110 degrees 100 degrees it's just way too hot um, yeah 70 degree weather 50 degree weather this setup is going to be perfect um, am I going to add a killer chiller in the system to tag along with that yes possibly I don't know yet um, I still have more testing to do with the ice box so I'm gonna keep it in mind no doubt um, I'm just afraid that the killer chiller is going to take away from the air conditioning here in California. It is hot, so I do want that killer, I, or I do want my AC to be functioning correctly. If it only delays it just a little, I'm fine with that. Um, I'm gonna do more research on it, talk to a few more people, really go in depth with it to Primo 5.0. If you haven't checked out his channel, definitely check it out. He has a killer chiller system on his and it seems to be doing work probably better than the ice box to be honest so i can only imagine the ice box paired with the killer chiller would be an amazing combination and uh, it would really keep my temperatures down with that being said guys i think that's going to conclude today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you smash that thumbs up button drop a comment in the comment section below let me know what kind of content you want to see in the future do you want me to continue testing out this ice box do you want to see more races do you want to see more vlog type stuff do you want to see car meets um, just let me know whatever content you want to see let me know in the comment section below and of course guys if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed already please consider doing so until next time we're out